bin der glückliche Ich denke, die Amerikaner. Hi guys, Colsey, and welcome back to the budget gaming PC build. Today we're going to be doing the performance reviews I've been and captured and benchmarked and performance reviewed a bunch of games. Now this machine obviously is supposed to be a budget kind of entry level gaming PC so I didn't really expect a huge amount from it. I was actually pleasantly surprised by how well it performed in a lot of the games I've picked. So I've picked eight games from either the games I enjoy or, or suggestions from you guys. I've picked eight games to test, to run on it, to really try and put it through its paces. I've tried to pick a bunch of games that, that may be different from each other so that you can kind of test different genres and different types of game out. All of the footage that you're going to see was captured from the PC. I used a capture card so that it wouldn't impact on the actual performance of the gaming. Uh, also, I used fraps to do the actual um, min, max and averages of the FPSs. So that seemed to be the best way to do it. They, they seem to have come out fairly well. Let's just jump into it and check out the game, shall we? Okay, so first we're starting with Doom. This is a game that... We tested on the other really, really budget PC we bought, so I wanted to see how it performed on this. It's on the lowest graphics settings. We had a minimum FPS of 53 FPS, a maximum of 62, and an average of 60. So completely playable, easily playable at 60 FPS. Okay, next we're moving on to some Dishonored 2. Again, another fairly recent game. Running again on low graphics, the minimum FPS apparently was zero. I think that might have been some sort of mistake or I, I don't know, I don't really trust that. The max apparently was 156, which gave us an average of 59 FPS. Again, very playable. I didn't notice any drops or anything, so it's definitely playable. So I'm not sure exactly what the minimum of zero FPS was about, but it's de it was definitely playable. The, the section I played of it, it ran perfectly fine. It ran great. Okay, now moving on, we have some Rocket League. Again, it's a game that's very popular. It's a completely different style from the from Doom and Dishonored 2. So this was running on the highest graphical setting. Uh, minimum FPS we had was 56. Maximum we had was 64, which gives us an average of 62 FPS. It ran perfectly fine. It was it was fine. It was great. Right, next up we have Lego Worlds. Now, this is a game I have played on my channel. It's, a, again, a very different type of game, more of your Minecrafty style game. It's just another type of game I wanted to check out. So we had this, again, on the highest graphical settings. Minimum we had was 70 FPS. Maximum was 182 FPS, which gave us an average of 105 FPS. So very, very runnable, smooth, buttery smooth.
Okay, now we have some H1Z1 King of the Kill, uh, another favorite of mine. Uh, this was actually requested as well. So this was running on, on the high graphic setting. Minimum FPS we had was 57, maximum was 326. Apparently, again, not entirely sure how reliable this is. I used fraps, but the average came out of 81 FPS. Again, a very playable, very smooth game, easily playable on this PC. Next up is Battlefield 1. I love this game. This game is so much fun to play. It's also a very, very popular game, very much a triple A title. So we had this running on the medium settings. Minimum FPS was 34, maximum was 62. So it averaged out at roughly 52 FPS. It felt fine to play. It felt like it ran smoothly, didn't have any significant massive drops. It ran fine. It was, it was really quite normal to play really. Okay, second to last we have Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Again, a game I really enjoy, a very competitive online game. We had this running at medium to high settings. Some of the settings were set on medium, some were set on high and very high, so I've just put it kind of in between medium and high. Minimum FPS we had was 57, maximum was 113, which averages out to roughly 83 FPS. Very smooth, very playable, not much more I can say. It was good. And finally, we have Steep, very open world, snowboard, skydiving, all of that, very open world game, beautiful game, actually. Uh, this is running at the lowest settings. Even at the lowest settings, it actually looks beautiful. So the minimum FPS we had was 44, maximum was 97, and the average was about 70 FPS. So completely playable. I don't know, you might be able to push it up to medium, I didn't actually test that, but on the low settings, it still looks absolutely beautiful as it does in the high settings. It looks beautiful, it's amazing, it's a great open world game and it ran smooth. So there we have it. I mean, those are the eight games I tested. I tried to pick some different games that were different from each other so that you could see how different games performed in it. Obviously things like Lego Worlds were quite easy for the PC to run. So I imagine if you wanted to play something like Minecraft, again, that's gonna be easy to run on your PC. If you wanna play League of Legends, again, that's gonna be fine. Those sort of competitive online games like CSGO, they're gonna be easy to run. I was actually surprised that it ran so many like AAA games so smoothly at basically 60 FPS. I don't think anything was really massively under 60 FPS. So I'm actually very impressed with, with what I managed to create with a Pentium 
and a GTX 1050. It's it's actually a very good PC. I didn't expect it to be that good, actually. I was expecting something that would play maybe emulator games, some older games, but it actually plays pretty recent games pretty well. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Again, if you do want to go and grab any parts I've mentioned or you want to build a similar PC, there are links in the description where you can go and get those parts. So if you want to go grab those parts, there's links in the description to all the parts I used. If you guys want to see any more benchmarks, then you'll have to let me know games. Maybe I can do a part two and run uh, a bunch of different games and see how those run as well. But actually, I'm very happy with the PC. It's a great PC. I would highly recommend it. If you're getting into PC gaming and you haven't got a lot of money, this is a great PC to start with. It's fully upgradable. It's a great PC. I'm very, very happy with it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the series. If you want to see more of like real life me, PC building or PC related videos more than just gameplay, then you'll have to let me know in the comments. I really enjoy doing them, they're really fun. They obviously are a little bit harder for me to do because they're a bit expensive to buy parts and set things up and they involve a lot more planning, but I've really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.